Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a Halloween decorate and bake with me. So I'm going to be decorating a tear tray with all of the Halloween decor I've met, um, managed to gather up. And then I'm also going to be making an easy fall treat. This video also is in collab with one of my friends here on YouTube. Me and her are very close. We've collabed plenty of times before. My girl Shanti over from Shanti's Lifestyle. She's also going to be decorating her tear tray for Halloween and making a Halloween treat for you guys as well. So definitely I want you guys to head out over to her channel as soon as you're done watching my video and let her know that I sent you and give her a big hello. You guys will love her. She does lots of cleaning motivation, day in the lives. Her home is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. She's always doing beautiful home tours and different decor pieces that she's always gathered. She's amazing, you guys will love her. And like I said, I've worked with her plenty of times before and we've become pretty close over the past year that we've um, became friends. So I'm gonna let her introduce herself real quick and then we're gonna dive right in and I'm gonna share everything that I'm going to be doing today with you guys. Hi everybody, my name is Shanti from Shanti's Lifestyle. I am a wife and a mother of three. You guys, on my channel, I have a lots of different variety of videos from cleaning, cooking, home decor, hauls, anything pertaining to be a woman, wife, and a mother. I love it if you come check out my video after you're done watching Amber's video. If you do, please let me know in the comments so I can say hi to you and I hope to see you guys there. Bye. If you are coming over from Shanti's channel, I'm so happy you decided to check out my video. I do lots of different types of videos. I love doing cleaning motivation, mommy type of videos, so like day in the lives. I mix in cooking here and there. I just started working about two months ago, so I have that chaos I'm handling. But I just love sharing videos that motivates other women and other mothers to just tackle and hustle and do the things that we're capable of doing because we are strong, we are beautiful, and I just love uplifting everybody. So if you guys love that type of content and you like feeling like you're <laughs> with one of your girlfriends and just real life, you've definitely come to the right spot and I'm so happy to have you. So I'm going to be decorating my tear tray and then I'm also going to be making these cute little jack-o'-lantern apple pies. So that's what I'm gonna make. It's really easy and I'm really excited to share all of this with you guys today. So this is all of the Halloween decor that I have you guys. Some of the stuff I got uh, last year from the Target Dollar Spot. So I just have this little blue sign. I thought this was really cute. That was a Hobby Lobby piece. These little spiders were also from Hobby Lobby. This little boo sign was as well. These little um, glitter balls, these actually came in a pack from the Dollar Tree. The kids got into them, so this is kind of all I got left to work with. I thought that this was so cute. This is from Hobby Lobby as well. Target Dollar Spot. This little pumpkin candle I got from the Target Dollar Spot as well. These two items were actually from last year, so it's just a little jar and then just a little mug. And then some greenery picks. These are all from Target Dollar Spot. I think these were in a one pack and then the other ones were individual for a dollar. This haunted home, sweet haunted home sign was also from Target Dollar Spot along with this little glass here. I think I'm going to fill those into that. These were from the Dollar Tree. They were little clips, but the kids broke them off. So I don't know if I'm going to even use them. This little cake stand here and then these were these little... Um, Pumpkins are also from the Taller Get Dollar Spot. And then this is my tiered tray that I'm gonna decorate and see what I can manage to do. This thing is pretty big. I hope I can get everything to fit in here. So let's begin. So this was the first time I've actually had a real tear tray. Before I've done a DIY and it was not the same. So this one was pretty big and I was kind of struggling with where I was going to place everything, but at the end, I think it turned out pretty cute for being my first time decorating a real <laughs> tiered tray.
and this is the finished tray i think it turned out really cute you guys is it spooky enough <laughs> the kids were really excited when they seen this the spiders didn't last long on here after filming this <laughs> but i thought it was just really cute to add the little bats in with the little uh, greenery i had going on and i think it turned out cute let me know in the comments what do you guys think So to make these mini jack-o'-lantern pies, you're just going to need some ready-to-made pie crust, a pumpkin cookie cutter, and whatever your choice of pie filling is. I'm just going to use apple, and then I'm going to roll out the pre-made pie shells, and then I'm going to cut them with the cookie cutter. I got about five that was pretty tight. If you want to make more of these, I would suggest getting two boxes of the ready-to-bake pie crust. Once I got all of my little pumpkins cut out, I'm just going to take a knife to cut out the faces of the jack-o'-lanterns. This is so easy and just so fun. This would be a perfect task to do with the kids as well. Using just like a butter knife or something, it would be a fun like family activity to do together. My kids were really excited when they seen the jack-o'-lantern pies. Okay, you guys, sorry it cut off, but once you put your filling in there, you're just going to want to fill it in the middle because if you put it too much, it's going to kind of slide over and then you're going to just pinch them together. And then as if like when you're doing a pie, you're just going to grab your little fork to do your edges like that to kind of seal it together. And then these are the cute little pumpkins. And then you're going to bake them in the oven for about 15 minutes at 350 degrees. Pop those in there. <laughs> If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you are coming over from Shanti's channel, I hope you enjoyed this. And you guys check out some of my other videos as soon as you're done watching this one. Don't forget you guys to head over to Shanti's channel and tell her hello and see what she made for her Halloween treats and to also see how she decorated her tier tray. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.